X-Men Annual No. 1 was published few days ago with this impressive cover, showing Cyclops fighting Captain Marvel. Scott woke up to find himself in a strange place, but this was not the first time, and he knew it wouldn't be the last. He thought that he was alone, but he then found Carol, who told him that she did not know what was going on, as ten minutes ago, she was walking to meet Jennifer Walters and Jessica Drew for coffee, and now she is here, without her morning coffee. Scott said that the license plates said that this was Iceland, and this definitely was a fishing village, remarking that he grew up in a place like this, when some bricks suddenly fell on them, but Carol managed to push Scott away before they hit him. They felt like the place was angry and aggressive, therefore, Carol decided to see if she could find any signs of human life. Scott, who stayed behind, stumbled and almost fell, remarking that the sidewalk was just fine a minute ago and felt an anger slowly rising in him. Meanwhile, Carol was flying around. When she suddenly hit a magical barrier, she tried to smash through it, but she failed and went back to Scott, who told her that he could not find any fish or animal of any kind. He also said that they could be trapped in this place, but Carol wondered how he knew they were trapped, although she did not mention anything about the barrier. Scott said that he did not know about the barrier but if someone sent them to this place, they obviously would want to keep them there. Carol did not take his words for granted and asked him about his identity and whether he was real or just an imposter. Scott asked who would do that and Carol, who became confused, said that it could be the Beyonder, the Living Tribunal, or someone else. Scott told Carol that he could say the same about her and they started to argue when a flying wooden board came out of nowhere and hit Carol, who thought that Scott did that. Scott told Carol that they needed to calm down, but she just slapped him, forcing him to punch her back. They knew that they should stop fighting and work together to figure out what force was making them act this way, but moment by moment, they were close to lose all control. They then jumped off the pier and continued the fight on a boat. Carol told Scott that a useless X-Man like him would never beat her, but Scott told her that she wasn't the first to underestimate him. Carol then punched Scott, who knew that they were losing control, but could not stop stop fighting. They saw a magical fish swimming underwater and knew that it was the reason behind all this mess and that if they managed to catch it, they would be able to get out of this place. Carol, however, said that it would be a way out for one of them only and warned Scott not to dive after the fish. Scott, however, jumped to dive, but Carol blasted him before he hit the water and knocked him away. She then went after the fish, which seemingly disappeared, but then decided decided to take care of Scott first and attacked him again. Carol told Scott that he should have stayed down, but he just blasted her but did not cause any damage as she told him that she could absorb energy and the more she absorbs, the stronger she becomes. Scott then decided to stop holding back and removed his visor, knowing that he would lose if he stayed in control and he couldn't lose, so he had to let go. He then projected a massive blast of energy and struck Carol, who wasn't hurt at all, and turned binary. Carol then told Scott that he was stupid to empower her, but Scott told her that he gave her enough power to kill him and everyone else in Iceland, Greenland, and all of Scandinavia, just like how she almost killed his friends and teammates when the brood attacked. He then told her that he was sure that she was strong enough to fight back against whatever this place was doing to them and take back some small measure of control. With that, Carol told Scott that he won and told him to go. Scott went into the water while Carol unleashed a massive burst of energy, then collapsed. She knew that she should feel angry at Cyclops, the fish, or whatever magic kept her there, but she just felt tired empty and alone, then released another burst of energy. Agatha Harkness' plan for the Darkhold was taking shape, but its evil magic failed to force Carol and Scott to finish each other. Hope you liked the video, don't forget to subscribe, share and like. Thanks for watching and have a nice one.